Back in business? I think we are. Today we're talking polyurethane engine mount bushings. How do you choose? Which ones are right for you? Well today, I'm going to be swapping in 62 durometer AWR Racing polyurethane engine mount bushings into my Mazda Miata. I'll cover what durometer means, how to install it, and we might even get a little nerdy this time around. We'll see. Hey, boom, wake up. We got work to do. This is our newly acquired cat, Ham. If you want to see more of Hambone on the channel, just comment below. He's a good boy. Welcome to my channel, Driver Ryan. In the last video, we installed AWR Racing tow hooks. So if you haven't seen that, check that video out. And the savings still apply. Use code DIR10 to save 10% store-wide at AWR Racing. So, before I found this gem of Miata, I had a red one, it was a 97, and it was pretty rusty. I bought a set of AWR motor mounts for that car with 70 durometer bushings, and when I sold that car, I took the motor mounts off of that and put it right in this car. AWR currently offers four different durometers, 62 being the softest, then 70, 88, I think it is, for medium, and then 95 is the hardest. The ones in here, like I said, are 70 durometer, and I'm going to be installing 62 durometer. So what does durometer mean? I think back to my materials class, way back in the day, I'm getting old. There's an instrument where it tested the resistance of indentation on like polymer materials or rubber, stuff like that. So think of it this way, a pencil eraser is probably 30. So think of that as soft and then like a skateboard wheel or a wheel on a shopping cart. That's probably like 95, give or take. I'm just estimating here. So, oh geez, I'm just knocking my mirror off. So how do you know which ones are right for you? Well. If you daily drive your car, you probably don't want any vibrations. So I would go with the softest ones, which is what I'm installing today, 62 durometer. 70 is also probably fine. If you have a very high horsepower car or you track it a lot, I would go with the 88 or 95 stiff bushings. But for daily use, it might just chatter your teeth out. So probably don't recommend that. Whichever ones you choose, they're going to be a great improvement over the stock squishy, gushy, rubbery mounts. Shifts will be cleaner, less drivetrain movement, less drivetrain slop, the power is gonna go right to the wheels, and trust me, you're gonna notice a pretty good improvement with motor mounts. So I was trying to think of ways on how to translate the vibrations through video to you all. I found an app, you know, being the millennial that I am, I looked for an app that measures vibrations. So I found an app by Sonic Tools, and it uses the iPhone accelerometer. When there's vibrations, the phone will go up and down, you know, very quickly. So it measures that difference. And that unit of measurement is G. So like one G is 9.81 meters per second squared. That's, you know, the gravity of the earth. So I'm gonna do a cold start and put the phone right here in cabin because, you know, I thought about doing it on the engine itself, but do we ever really sit on the engine? Yeah. Not really, so. Let's start the app up. We put it on Vibe RMS. It's currently at 1G, so nothing is moving. We're gonna start it up and see how much it vibrates. So the minimum was 0.8G with a maximum of 1.3G, so Let's switch out the motor mount bushings to the 62 durometer and we'll see if it's any smoother. You guys know this car. I switched garages. I missed Matthew. Miss you too, buddy. So we're gonna take the motor mounts out. So first thing you gotta do is jack the car up, take the front wheels off. I took the intake off. Yours is probably different than mine. But it also helps when you don't have the uh, the intake manifold support bracket. Right. The most useless bracket on a Miata. First time I got a Miata, Matt said, take that off. And you're going to want to. 
makes oil changes very easy but I mean I eliminated a few other things here but you can see motor mounts down there um, the bolt that goes to the wheel well is a what did we say it was 17 it's a 17 on the AWR mounts yeah and then the ones to the block are 14 I did do a video on installing these from stock way back on the channel if you want to reference that but on the header side it's not too bad either so Matt is gonna help me out this is why it's, it's way better with two people mm -hmm. doing this job he's gonna put the jack under the engine to support it and we're gonna do one at a time take them out and once they're out I'll show you how to switch the bushings out should be pretty straightforward yes That was record time. Yeah, it's, it's amazing how easy things are when you've done them before. <laughs> yeah, and with a buddy. Yeah, yeah, that helps. So yeah, we're so, just separating the uh, the mount itself from the uh, from the bushing and the where the bushing sits. And those are 19s on both sides. AWR, they give you a lock nut for one side and a washers yeah. and everything. You're good. Yeah, and then we just gotta get the sleeve out, and then the bushing should come out. So, I've been chatting with the good folks at AWR. They said a good method is to get a socket. This is a, what, half inch? Mm -hmm. So the socket, it does help if you have a vise too. Let, let's start with that. We put the motor mount in a vise vertically. We put a half inch socket, see how it fits right around there perfectly in the hole. And then we'll hammer down to get the center pin out. It. Boop. Oh, and then it poops out the socket. So, pin is out. These, are probably, these have been in there a while. But, these bushings, they're two pieces, as yeah, you can see, you know, from the new ones. So, we're going to put it back in the vise. Take a flathead or something like this with a curve and put it in until you feel. Halfway through, there's going to be a little breaking point where the two bushings meet. And if you're lucky, you could just, well, let's you just drive it home. Yeah. Could use a hammer or go with your hand. They're only their bushings. They, they should. Oh, you got it. There she goes. I wonder if I could just. There goes your, uh, your 70 durometer, right? 70, yeah. These are 62. Yeah. They say cut towards you, push towards you. Always, always cut towards you. Always. That's the rule. Safety first. <laughs> Popped out. All right. Squeeze them. <laughs> so if you want a little visual on the difference here, I'm going to give my right hand slightly stronger than my left. Here's the 62. Here, I'll put it in my right hand. Here's the 70. Yeah. Definitely doesn't want to move around. I don't know how much that comes across. 62, look at that. I could almost go like an oval. This, I got to take my pre-workout to get it like that. It's nice that you can have have the option to like switch. Yeah. That, that's really awesome. And these should hold up on track just fine, so. Yeah. Much stronger than OEM rubber. So, when we put the new ones in, they already feel a little slick. I don't think you need to put any sort of lubrication. It's not like sway bar bushings. Yeah. You're right? So I, I don't think so. These are the new ones, right? I didn't just reinsert the old ones. So there's one by my foot. There's one by your foot and there's one right here. Yeah, that looks used. Looks used. Okay. We might do a hybrid setup here. <laughs> oh! Yeah, you, you build up uh, some compression there. Yeah, <laughs> this is a high comp <laughs> pushing. That's We're in. It. Yeah, it's nice and simple. Let's socket it. <laughs> <laughs> the socket is your new dowel pin. So we're gonna reinstall this and do the same thing to the other side, but a couple of helpful things is use a vise if you have one and hammer it out from halfway in between. Two things you gotta remember. You have a very clean engine bay. Brown. Thank you, buddy. It's OCD. Yeah. <laughs> Kills me. But that side was a little more difficult than the intake side. Yeah, the exhaust manifold kind of gets in the way. Yeah. And I have a header too, so. Yeah, and the header's easier than the, st than the yeah. OEM manifold. Stock 
manifold really stop you in your tracks. Ready for a startup? Yep. So these are softer bushings, but not broken in. So. Yep. So they will they will break in and get softer, a little softer over time. Yep. I didn't see any movement. See, hmm. right now I'd be vibrating just a tad. You already noticed the difference. I can't tell. Yeah. Yeah. But we're gonna go back to my homestead and do the old vibration test. Thank you, Matthew. Go follow Matthew underscore MX5 on Instagram and the Slip Angle on YouTube and Slip Angle Media. Oh, yeah. That's my Miata. Way up there. Oh, yes. All right, it's time for the vibration test. So, it's been a few weeks since that last scene at Matthew's house. I've taken it to Lime Rock once. Look out for that video coming up soon. And I've been daily driving it a little bit, but let's do a cold start. We'll go to Sonic Tools, Vibe RMS. We'll set it right here on armrest. We're clear, recording. Moment of truth. <laughs> 1 1.2. So point two is better than point three. To wrap this up, I'm sure one of the questions you have is, did you notice any downsides when you were driving the car? Like did the shifter feel more sloppy or anything like that? Nope. Driving experience was exactly the same as it was with the stiffer mounts. Now I didn't have the stiffest option originally, so it wasn't that drastic of a change, but there was a pretty good improvement in interior NVH. So for that, I would give this a 10 out of 10. And remember, if you're not happy, I showed you how to switch them out in this video. So if you found this helpful whatsoever, give this video a like and Comment below if you're running a hybrid setup with you know one side rubber, the other side polyurethane. Whatever you're running, doesn't have to be a Miata. Let me know what you're driving, what you're running for motor mounts, and what your experiences were. Thanks again, AWR Racing. Check them out at awrracing.com. Everything is made, designed, built in the USA. All their materials are locally sourced. They do their powder coating locally. Everything is pretty much in-house. You know, it's like a, it's like an organic farm to table steak, you know? It's just a little bit better. And don't forget, code DIR10, save yourself 10% on AWR Racing products. See you in the next one. Peace.